Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, today is a really good video specifically for what we're dealing with right now, because every single day, our rights on the Second Amendment specifically are under attack by the left. The left wants gun control, the far left. Like I've said many times, the average everyday one of the middle Democrat isn't as zealous on the gun control thing as the far left. So when I refer to the left, that's what I'm talking about, it's the far left, right? They've admitted they openly want to get rid of guns in this country and that's why we fight every single day. And this is a really great example of what they'll do. They really, really like to do the slow frog cook in a pot thing, you know, where you, if you drop a frog in a pot of boiling water, it jumps out. But if you put the frog in the water and then you turn the water up slowly, it boils to death. They love that tactic. In fact, if you go back through the 20th century, all socialist and communist governments started in that manner, really slowly, and then all of a sudden hit the gas. It's really interesting. But they try to do this routinely, and here's a great example of what they've done. Okay? This is, this is why we fight people. This is why we get people more to our side. This is why we talk about these things, because knowledge is power, and we've got a great move here. All right, everything is linked in the description box, as always, for your review, for you guys to share this video and to share other things so you got more information. But let's dive into it. This is what set me off, and I kind of connected some patterns, but check this out. So, Illinois, gun seizure bill resurrected, passes the House. Okay, that caught my attention, right? So as we continue down, let me explain what they actually did in Illinois and what they're doing. Yesterday, House Bill 1092 to expand Illinois' program of suspending Second Amendment rights without due process was resurrected after it previously had been re-referred to the House Rules Committee. Now, this is from the NRA, so this is kind of an alar alarmist approach to this article, but there's something extremely valuable, and then I'm going to connect it to some other things that we've done in the past two weeks where you can start to see a pattern. Now, the actual House amendments in question, House Amendment 1 to House Bill 1092 widens the definition of family members who can petition for an order that will cause an individual to have their constitutional rights suspended and their property seized. These firearm restraining orders are issued following basis accusations and without a hearing or an opportunity for the respondent to be heard in court. This bill also expands the items to be seized to include ammunition as well as firearms parts. This law attacking the right to due process should be repealed, not expanded. Okay. That is specifically re referencing red flag laws. And if you recall, if you guys have been watching these videos that I've been putting out nightly, we did something about a week or two ago about red flag laws in California. Now, if you connect what they've done in Illinois right now, because Illinois and California are both far left bastions, especially when it comes to gun control. Doesn't work at all in either place, but doesn't matter. That's what they are. This is important, and watch the connections. Let me know what you guys think in the field below, in the comment field below, because this is where it matters when we make connections, see patterns, and get in front of them. So, like I said, Illinois, they're expanding the red flag laws to basically say, this person's crazy, I don't want them to have guns, the court or the police take the guns, and it takes a long time to prove your innocence to get those guns back. Okay, that's essentially the idea. Now, that's in Illinois. If you guys recall, Previously, I did a video and the um, thumbnail says Cali just proved our point and it was all about California proving the point that red flag laws are a slippery slope downhill. The thumbnail is actually right here and you can link to the video in the description box or I'll put it up on the screen. So if you go to that video, it's all about the specific red flag laws and how they're sliding downhill in California. Well, it looks like they're doing the same thing in Illinois. Check this out. Under California's original red flag law, Family members and law enforcement could go to the courts to obtain GVROs, which are gun violence restraining orders. But Ting, the politician, passed AB 61 in September of 2020, which expanded the pool of people who can obtain a GVRO, allowing educators, employers, and co-workers to file for one when coordinating with school administrators or human resource departments. All right, California is in front of Illinois on this, but they're doing the same thing. Do you guys see the pattern? They start very slowly with, well, we need to do a red flag law system because it will save lives and it will really help the community. Then, before you know it, they're amending it to add more people that can do the red flag laws. And then need a little bit more and a little bit more. And what ends up happening is you've got so many people that are not involved with the individuals in question saying anything they want and the gun automatically is taken by the state. That's a problem. And if you don't believe me that it will escalate quickly, look what happened on this graph after this was expanded to non-family members in California. As you can see right here in 2016, it was below 100. Five years later, by the end of 2020, the GVROs were over 1,300. 
because they expanded the pool of people that could actually do this. Now, why is this important? Okay, so the important thing here, guys, this is what they do. When I was saying about the frog in boiled water, very slowly it, it boils and dies, that's what they're doing here. If you look at California, what they've passed, what they've done, and how they've done it, and the results, you can go back two or three steps to where Illinois is right now. Illinois passed flag laws, red flag laws. But now they're looking to expand those red flag laws just like California did. And pretty soon, if they pass this, because it's not, it's not done yet, if they do this, what's going to end up happening is more and more and more in, uh, rights are going to be infringed because of more and more people that can say something negative about a person who owns a gun. This is not a good thing, but this is the important piece. We know what they're up to. The more knowledge that we have, the more information we have that we can share with people. Share this video. It's free. Share someone else's from another YouTube channel. It's not about whose video, but the point is, if we know where they're at and we are up on our game, the battlefield of ideas will go in our direction as it currently is. But the important part here is we have to stay on them because they are slippery. They are unified in their goal. That's what they want. I spend all day looking at this stuff. They are unified. They are driven and it's their goal. It's not working right now, but that doesn't mean they're not going to continue to try, which is when you and I come in because we're doing amazing things together and don't you stop fighting because we're making amazing moves in the, in the face of tons of adversity. But that's what we do because we're Americans and we fight really well in adversity. <laughs> adversity. Until tomorrow, let me know what you guys think. I'm Braden. See you later.